Hello guys and welcome to Quick Play Mario Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Well I just got this game yesterday buying it on a local store. I played it a bit but not really much, about 13 minutes. I'm just gonna do this quick play because uh, I love the first Paper Mario. I'm so sad that I lost the game. But I'm going to see if this game is as good or is decent. Alright. Let's go get the save point. No, half my coins. Okay, let's go. Time professor. There he is. With his goofy glasses. What's up? Is why I want to say when I read that. Who's there? Who wants me? Oh yes, you. Now you are. Uh... I seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I get it right. Um, it's not Gombrea. Er, huh? er, it's not. At least I go. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I got it. You're Gombella, aren't you? You were my archaeology class last year, am I right? Oh, yes sir, that's me. I'm Gombella. Well, I'm just gonna say my normal voice. I don't want to do my girl voice. I'm Gombella, a junior at Yugum. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out in my mind because you're such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, but I have no clue about what's hit right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogue Port. I thought that if anyone knew about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I knew about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasures? You know, that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? And I'm obviously going to research, research it. Obviously, because it does, might not exist. Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Not because I want to get rich. That's not it at all. Good point, and well made. In that case, I will cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasures. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasures of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. And that, folks, is why it's called the Thousand Year Door. You mean the crystal stars in the old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed the same! As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the star will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah, how cryptic. A lot of the lore I read said that if this magic map 
just take it to the doorway. It'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map! But we do have a professor, or, er, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Yes, we don't mind. Astonishing! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful even! Yes, yes, Mario, we already know you're a hero. You saved the Mushroom Kingdom a billion times by now. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor! Good guy! What are we doing just sitting here then? Go better, Mario! Off we go! This instinct! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door! <sighs> Dang, the professor doing his voice is doing a thing on my throat. I bet you didn't know this rusty old thing came off, did you? <laughs> We could use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get going. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm very certain there are quite a few hoodens below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about action commands, don't you? Nope. Positively shocking. In that case, you got to learn, take a second to learn them. We have a little practice session. Gumbella, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh the uh, uh, okay. I do my best, I guess. Now we get to the battle system. First, will you practice the jump action command? That's okay with the both of you. Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy you attack. When you choose your target, the action command details appear down below there. There, right there, Mile. Just before you land your opponent, press the A button again. You know you did it right when Nice appears. You can do more damage that way. Now it's your turn to attack, Gumbella. Shake a leg! Okay, here goes Mario! Hold up, right there Mario. Press A just before your opponent strikes you. You did a guard action command. Garden will take... Well, I mean, Garden will reduce the damage you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly top A to guard. That would not work. Not at all. But remember this, the action command changes depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Anyway, next let's practice hammer action commands. Once you choose the enemy you're going to attack Mario, tilt and hold the left control stick. Keep going to the left now, don't let go. Release it as soon as the red star lights up. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Get a pretty good grasp on action commands now. Excellent. Now for a real treat, I will teach you a really incredible technique. Come back. Try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Freeze right there, Mario. This time, press B just before the enemy attack lands. See? You turned the foe's attack back on him. Uh, I mean her. Yeah, her. Whatever. Yeah, her. That's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Choose Y to be for turning them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Professor Humor.
How'd that go over? Would you like to practice the action command a bit more? Nope. Got it. Pretty sure I can understand it. Expecting nothing less, Mara. You're a quick learner. You're writing a pearl, I'm sure. Well, I do believe we're now all set for a quest. Hmm? So, down below we go. Hop on into the pipe and tilt the down button to enter the pipe. Come now, I simply cannot wait. Let's go down underground. Quickly now. Hop onto the pipe and then tilt the down control stick to go into it. <sighs> Doing his voice hurts my throat. Hey, hey, man! What's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play really nice. Man, what a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch. That was cold. What? You're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Thanks a lot, Gumbella. Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a spinning Goomba, and a para Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spinning Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. The para Goomba's airborne, yet, so your hammer won't reach. You have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation to. Wait, I'm not even doing the voice. Always take your opponent's situation to consideration of fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press the Y button and change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you like them better. Don't forget that. No, dang. Oh well, at least the enemies behave like in the actual Mario game where you jump on the wing Gomba, they'll lose their wings. So I like that. I'm going to attack... Headbutt! Ow. Ooh! I should probably hit him first. Alright. Okay, I can't do it yet. Let's try switching first. Okay. Goodbye. And I'm gonna use the hammer. Aha. You're nothing compared to me. And you keep attacking Mario for some reason. Dang, I have no items. For glory! You got 10 star points! Owie! Huh, they're on losers. That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they come from, and they all have it for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you will perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. <sighs> I'm exhausted, just doing the voice. Let's try going through here. Ah. Jump! Go through the tube. Oh boy, Mario's in trouble. Only have 5 HP left. Let's jump in. Okay. 
Anyway, you get a hundred star points. Oh, hearts! Hearts! I love hearts. Okay. You struck first. The first strike is ours. Oh, well, that was easy. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought first strike means we can attack first, not that we actually can hit first, like right there. Oh. You struck first! Goodbye! Well, it is so easy. You don't even have to worry about getting attacked, just have to hit them first. Mushroom! Use items, yada yada. I think we all know how to use items. Flower power! Let's go down this tube. Who the heck is this guy? No! My hammer won't reach! Won't hit him! Come back here. We don't want anything. Just want to eat you. Oh dude. Try jumping on him. Ow. Good jump. I need to get this timing right. Okay. Wouldn't matter if I even if I did do that. It takes three hits to destroy him. Got six star points. Dang it. I will jump on you. I stop you. I stop you good. Uh, there's a key up there. I want the key. Hurry, hurry, jump, 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 jump. Jump like you never jumped before. Oh. Okay, let's try doing it again. Remember where the key is. Okay, let's get the key. You got black key. A strange black key. But what could it be for? A black door, I think. But let's see a black key. Or a black treasure chest. That would do. Whoa. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can't. That must mean you're the hero of legends! Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everybody else? Nothing. See? Long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings you a hero like this? T I mean, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Er, uh, Mario, a word, I mean, er, <coughs> uh, Mario, a word of you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Wait a minute. If he says only a hero can hear him, then how can Professor Goomba hear him? Huh. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad guys. So first, you should look for a key to this box. And use it to let me out definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we gotta do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you find that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. 
Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Yes, oh man, I owe you big! Yes! Thank, <coughs> thank nothing! Wee! Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you! What? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I during that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those were breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you now. Boogly, boogly, woo! You're cursed! Whee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserved! You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well! From now on, if you press the water button in certain areas, areas, you turn into a paper airplane. Whee! Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Whee! <laughs> oh, I can't help but trouble. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough. I guess... So I suppose I owe you to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt the left and right to control yourself. I guess if you get good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. To be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that ever happened to you? That's on a... what? What was that? Oh. Okay, I thought I could do a sarcastic method and then just go and end it. I thought I could use a sarcastic method like, what? Uh, I just don't know, what? Oh dang it, I, I pressed it again. <sighs> yeah, I get it, it's terrible. Wee! <laughs> In first place, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fools. Wee! <laughs> so, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Who knew the area under Rogue Port extended that so far? This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandness of that ancient civilization when you're down there. Down here. Do 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 Dang, I suck. This is what the box meant. Took the left and right to steer yourself, um, paper airplane self. You have to be a good pilot if you want to fly far. Try it once more. I'm going to totally suck at this, aren't I? Oh, what the heck is this? I see you! I see the paper! Dang it, I can't go through. Yeah, we got through. Dun dun dun! That must be the thousand year door right there. Oh, Mario! Come on! Look at this! Look at that! I mean, it's the thousand year door spoken of in the legend. I can't believe it's real. Even though I'm researching on it. So the legends are all true. There it is. Big as life. Come, let's move closer. Hey, what's the deal with the weird pedestals, huh? What could it be, you think? <laughs> Professor, what's going on? The 
map. It's the blasted map. It's a trap, isn't it? Dang, my throat hurts. We're getting sucked in, or we're just seeing the map. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Wow, same magical map makes me think of the magical girl genre of anime for some reason. Each time you get a crystal star, you learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was it with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that the information related to the location of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we shall return to my place and study the map closely. Nod. Hurry! Aha! Uh -huh, I see! You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. First, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, sir. Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure thing. Excellent! In that case, we'll go outside. Says this place is a little cracked. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. You see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. That was a healing move. You please tell love to shoot hearts in the flowers. Okay. Since you use one star dot, the star gate is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gate empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battle is so very important. So if you get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean, Mario Gambetta. Try to attack me, please. Nice, see that? You threw your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more excited your battles are, the more people will come to watch your fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. 16. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and an icon wheel appears. Give it a try. Hmm. 
Bingo! HE, FP, and star powers are awful. Fantastic! You match three icons. When you match these icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on icon, you, ma you match up, your HP, FP, and star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? I mean, still with me! The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I want you to memorize all this. Great Goombas go, Mario. Look at your audience. Does that guy have a hammer? He does the bomb. He means to toss it at you. If the audience member gets hit with anything, you take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. That's right, sweet justice. You can press the X button to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I got. Here ends my scholating lecture on special moves. Let's get back inside. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astonishing! This map has ray-like functions. It now sh it now shows the location of a crystal star. Looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Meadows. Petal Meadows. Yes, this the area is a vast mouth that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I always thought that this place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we go over there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to the Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travels efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where do you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, wouldn't it? Would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. No, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking me about the same thing. Hmm? But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two. Go! If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal scar is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Are you coming, Professor? No, I stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Wait just a moment! You got Power Smash! My, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badge you equip, you get more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No thanks. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I asked. Do you want practice? By the way, you need flower power to use the power smash move. In battle, but you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. You get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe for pedal metals. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. okay. And I'm going to end it here, folks. And that's all for my quick play. Overall, it's a pretty fun game overall. Not sure if it's 
as good or better than pick the first one, but I will see when I play through it. Though I'm probably going to try to finish Tactic Ogres on the PSP first. 